Okay, in this video, I wanna talk about one of my favorite tokens. As a matter of fact, full disclosure, I have uh, over 45% of my portfolio is allocated to this token, and it, it is on absolute fire the last 24 hours, really the last 90 days, and that's Chainlink. Chainlink is fantastic, and I wanna talk about it. So quick backstory, I've been in crypto for about seven years, but one of my most successful investments I've ever made was with Chainlink. And I use a business strategy with my portfolio that I call the crypto flywheel method. I teach it to my 280 some odd mentor, uh, mentees or members of my mastermind. And we use a, a method called cash flow appreciation leverage. You may have heard of it in other asset classes, but we like to treat our crypto portfolios like a business. And Chainlink is a significant piece of the puzzle when it comes to my specific crypto business strategy. In 2019, I was accumulating crypto uh, Chainlink and about 15 other tokens, but Chainlink specifically, my cost basis was somewhere in the 80 to 90 cent range. Uh, and by 2021, if you look at the charts, you can see it goes to $52 at an all-time high. Now, while I didn't cash it all out at the very top because nobody can really time the top, and if they tell you they can, they're lying, I took profits on the way up, but it was life-changing money. I'll just keep it keep it simple. And I got to know Chainlink, and you may have a crypto that you love that you've gotten to know, but Link is one of my favorites. And during the bear market, that lasted longer than any of us wanted it to after uh, 2021, I started accumulating again. Um, and for somewhere around 500 days, Chainlink ranged between like $4 and $9. <laughs> it was just the biggest no-brainer in the history of crypto because Chainlink is a, it's what we call a large or at least a mid cap, but it's like a significant blue chip crypto in my opinion with massive utility. It's an Oracle service that allows blockchains to talk to blockchains and non-blockchains to talk to blockchains. And it's in that whole interoperability category and DeFi relies on it. Real world assets and tokenization rel relies on it. it. It almost feels like a monopoly to be real honest with you. And there are very few competitors. As a matter of fact, there are some new competitors just now popping up, which is always kind of a cool thing to see, especially in an innovative technological environment like crypto, where, you know, there's Ethereum was the first to market in terms of smart contracts. And now there's all these other layer ones that call themselves the Ethereum killers. And so now you're going to start seeing things pop up that are link killers. And you just always want to be that Coca-Cola, right? Instead of the Pepsi. Of course, there's nothing wrong with being the Pepsi either. I mean, you can still make a lot of money there in that position in the market. So like I was saying, Chainlink at the time of this recording is zooming north of $18 and approaching 19. And I think if it breaks 20 and closes below 20, we're going to be off to the races here in the next couple of weeks. And it's going to be fun to watch. But my bear target for, for Chainlink during this cycle, this bull run, is $80. That's my low end target. My upper end target, somewhere along the lines of $120 to $130. I'll be starting my profit taking journey, however, around the $50, $55 mark. I have accumulated a large, uncomfortably a large amount of chain link, and I'll be well in the profit zone for that specific part of my portfolio. Uh, when we start getting north of $50. But just wanted to talk about it. It's my favorite. Uh, I think I would be um, lying if I didn't say it's my favorite token. And I think it's my favorite token because of its utility, the use case, and how prevalent it is. Um, it's kind of like embedded. It's like railroad tracks. It's it's like intranet. It's the network. It, it is... Um, it, it, it helps, it, it, it's helping to create an internet of blockchains. And I'm just like, gosh, how can that not have value? And as a capital allocator, my job is to take capital and to allocate it towards things in a capitalistic society that will provide value and exchange for value and also scale it. So not financial advice, not telling you to invest in Chainlink, not telling you that this is a great time to buy. I'm just telling you, I absolutely love it. And if you love it too, comment below or tell me what you love more than Chainlink and why you think I'm crazy for allocating so much of my portfolio to this large cap. Now, here's the dirty little secret. I'm going to take my profits from Chainlink and roll it downward into smaller market caps where I'll get even more multiples 
And that's how you really build wealth in these bull runs, is just taking advantage of the cascade effect from large cap market cap pumps to mid market cap pumps to small market cap pumps. And at the end of the day, you'll exponentialize your bag. So hope this is helpful. Comment below. Tell me what you think about Chainlink. Tell, tell me what you think about rotating your profits and let me know by that you like this by liking and following this because I'm going to just keep kind of talking about cryptos and let me know what you think I should do my next video on. Should we talk about Link versus XRP? Should we talk about Bitcoin versus Link? Are there other tokens that you think are rising stars that no one's talking about? Give me some alpha in the comments. I'd love to hear what your th thoughts are. Talk to you soon.